Hello, my beautiful badgers, messy coder, back again, and I know I say back again, I haven't been around much for, well, for the last two months, either on YouTube or on Twitch, but do not worry, I'm back in time for our live dev interview extravaganzas over on all the w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder that will be running through December like we do every year, and this time there'll be Unreal publishers as well as Unity ones, because if you pop over on Unreal Marketplace right now, you can get the Black Friday sales up until the 3rd of December where there's thousands upon thousands of assets. I'm talking about over 3,000 assets that are on 70% off and even more on 50% off. Makes Unity's asset sell a little bit, well, I'm going to say modest in comparison. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the assets they've got on their Marketplace website and we're going to be jumping straight into Unreal to play about with a very big one. Indeed. Let's pop over inside the Unreal Marketplace to see just what are we getting at 70% off. It's crazy. Madness when you compare it to things like the Unity uh, uh, Black Friday sale where they had at most we had about 90 um, assets, 170% off at one point. I think it's down to about 20 odd right now this demon for four quid is the bargain of the day you have to say four quid only four quid it's worth a punt i've got no idea what i'd use it for but for four quid yes it's four quid i have to say four quid only quid means pound so, you know this definitely um, it's on my list i'm buying this uh, and then when i do buy it i will show it to you because look at this beautiful car it's nine. I love 1930s. I, I really do love this period. Beautiful, beautiful, and they're drivable as well. Drivable retro car for sixteen pounds, normally fifty-three quid on the Unreal Marketplace. I found Sidearm Studio today on the Unreal Marketplace as well. They've got a load of sound packs down here at the, at the bottom, low music and sound. But at the top in the cell, they've also got some. Oh, look at this! I didn't notice that one. Modular Medieval Castle. They've got a massive open world kit. Normally 125 quid down to 62 on the sale. It's 50% off, not 70% uh, off. But I have to say, the, the video sold it. It, re it really did. Now you can use this in the Wild West or post-apocalyptic games. Only those two. Only those two genres you're allowed to. No, obviously not. Just joking with you. But it's interesting that they put those two in there. It, your imagination is the only thing that's going to limit you. But we're playing about today with this 1950s beautiful 1950s pack from the Yardies, which normally would be 224 pounds 91 pence in her queen's money and it's down to 67.47 p so a massive 70 percent discount on that one i'm inside unreal playing about with unreal i've thrown in some people from liarty studios nyc 1950s mega pack and i've also his vehicles thrown in there too I've also came across a strange error here telling me about my textures. That, it, as it, say, it says, uh, I'm trying to record the error message. It was texture streaming pool over, and then it had the amount it was over. So thanks to Homestead Saga, oh, Homestead Saga, Homestead Saga, say that 50 times fast, over on our Discord, bit.li slash messy Discord. He gave me a link, and I found that if I typed in streaming, uh, and change that to r dot streaming pool size and i changed the pool size to 2000 i don't know if that was a crazy amount but suddenly all my textures came back and that annoying message disappeared i'm going to zoom out all the way over here just so you can see the sheer scale or how big the map is in this pack you get this mega pack they've made it so flippable it's fliptastic flip flip fliptastic you need to come up with words to say to describe just how easy and how tempting it is to flip this look you get two islands and a bridge linking together you get new york new york-esque park in the middle of it it's new york new york homage this pack it really is in these large buildings it is beautiful the only thing that I did raise an eyebrow was if i go over here to the top of these buildings it looks like a, a wireless antennas or a 5g kind of thing i don't i know they had radio and tv in the 50s uh, but i'm not sure did they look like that i'll have to google it I'll have to Google it. But this pack is huge. The other thing about I'll go into the other um, levels that they've got. They've got some uh, scenes that he's created with all of the prefabs laid out for you just to get the sheer scale of all of the prefabs you get in this pack, which is huge. And it's so big, I've lost where the people are. 
I've lost where they are. So you know what? I'm going to click play. And, and I'm going to go over here and say in the new window, click play. Boom. Let's make it big. Come on. And as you see, they're just falling down now because they've got physics on some of them. And if I shoot them, it'll go flippity floppity, bouncing all over. All the physics is on the cars too. No! I can see what... No! No! Kevin! Oh dear. And um, yeah, Kevin's well and truly had it. If I can shoot the car to make the car go... Wow. Those, those are happy days, aren't they? Oh my word. So these models here, these characters, they're fantastic. I like the fact that um, you know they're not too realistic, so that they can be used with other characters on the asset store. They're not that photorealistic that we see now with Unreal that is just makes you think, okay, I can have some really photorealistic characters in my game, but then nothing else. I'd have to change, make sure all of them match the same quality. So these are your standard game game like character models. Now you might catch a chill with a shirt on, but thankfully you can have him with his shirt on over there. And you've got the, the baker, uh, a man with no uh, winky, because it's PG-13. Uh, the cop, the cop without his coat, his jacket. I love them. Really good. And in these, you get these five characters in the pack, and you get these 11 cars, seven of which are rigged and movable, like he exceeded little wheels. Wee! The other thing I love about these, oh my god, look at that. I feel really terrible about all the damage I've caused these. Here, look at this. We'll get out of this view in a moment. You can see all of the parts. I've just thrown some in here. So you can see, you can build your own cars. So you just put them all together and you build your car. Got all the parts in there. We could, I just can't wait to fly all the way down there. We could spend our time walking around this map because it is huge. It would take me ages. So you like the textures. We'll just reduce the strength of those normals a little bit. That's all I would say. We do, there was a little bit too strong, but too pronounced. Um, was that always there? Was that always there? Middle of the road? Oh, wow, this car. Look, it's beautiful. Rusty. You have got a... Who's going to shoot it? No! Oh! Um, we've got a cart here. The whole marketplace. Be uh, the props a little bit on that. Say, the one thing, they go, oh, the, you know, the props it's an, it's more of an environment pack and the props are nice extra to have on there not the best textured lemons in the world or potatoes but there's nothing really wrong with them no one's going to notice in your game oh my garlic is it how many polys does my garlic have you know it's 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 suitable it's good does the job clothing over here as well also what i feel is just by changing the lamps and the traffic lights and the advertisement this game, this level here, game, because it pretty much feels like a game, this suddenly becomes a different era. I could have the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, 2020s even, just by changing a few things, adding modern cars, changing telephone uh, booths. Because you don't think, have you still got those in America? Yeah, we don't really have them in the UK. Um, it's used by homeless people to put their things in, pretty much, fortunately. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's... I would say it's timeless. It's a timeless classic. And this is a huge pack. We can't just walk around it because we would get lost. But oh, look at the sky, the buildings. I have to say, I'm a massive fan. You just need to tweak some of the textures on the buildings a touch just to, so that you, they feel the, what they suit you. Just reduce them, the normals down a little bit, add um, some, oh, look here. Put some decals, some dirt, some vines growing up, a bit of a bit of noise going on on the buildings. But don't forget, this is where these buildings are pretty much new. In an era where they're new, so they're nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. But as they get older, whatever era that you decade you're gonna be basing your game in, then they'll change appropriately. I think this is a great pack. It really is. And it's huge. If I escape here. And we zoom out, we're just going to see again, like, get in the feeling of how big this is, how huge it is. It's enormous over there. I go click, I can say go to, like that. We'll go here, there it is. Oh, I've gone a little bit too far. Um, okay, uh, over. Let's go to the bridge. A little bit too far away. Uh, go here to the bridge. 
That's better. Look at this bridge. Go, I aim of clicking. Go here! Where did you go? Nowhere where you wanted to be. <laughs> so <laughs> the bridge just makes me feel like GTA or Mafia. It really does. It's really, they've done it. Look at that view, even just that itself. <laughs> Probably do a screenshot. Stunning. Here we are inside this overview for the building's prefabs. So they've got here the car wash that they mentioned. So there's an interior. It's got actually seems to be like a can I get in there? Nope. I can't I can't just walk inside because it's elevated somewhat. And oh here we go, got going through this other way. Nope, I can't can't get into there. There's that must be uh, an invisible Yep, there's that wall there. So oh, it's one sided. Okay. But how do I get I can't get in. But you can see it, it looks pretty. Uh, there you go. And if I go over to I was going to say, let's try and find, well, look, this one's lowered down. Maybe I can get inside you. Yes, he's lowered it down. Now I can actually get inside. We got all this fighting that's going on. Where's the bakery? It's all the way down over there. Oh, my word. Miles away. Okay, let's, let's escape that then and just fly. Now, I've noticed if I take me ages, I could just click on one of these and then I'll go right click, go here. I've learned that. Look at that. I've just teleported like magic. And if I go over here to um let's find the bakery where is it there it is there's a bakery and we can see there's an interior of the bakery here are we expecting those to be a bit hot, better quality on the textures for for the bike for the interior props exterior props a lot better you're buying this pack for the exteriors rather than the interiors i'm going to say for the props that you're getting so there is that that is huge lots of Lots of buildings and, and the different variations of that of that same building uh, prefab and cross. We've got billboards and an overview map as well. If I go into this overview map, it takes me about 20 minutes. I'm just going to pause the video. Look at this big overview map. It is massive. Look at all the things you're getting. Wondering, do you get a lot of things in this pack? Well, yes. Yes. Yes, you do. You get a lot of things in this pack. It'll take, it'll take me forever to go through it all. So I'm not even going to bother and try you get a lot of stuff look you even get the trams going through and i love the textures on the seats as well okay you know the lights shining in it's a bit difficult to see but it is beautiful oh my word it's the only like the props are the only thing i'd say that um i'll let it down a touch but even then look there's loads of them there's loads of props it's just the the like here we go look that okay like oh the quality of his pomegranates aren't fantastic <laughs> how many polys do you want in a pomegranate we should have that as the question how many polys in the pomegranate <laughs> look at these cars look at them they're beautiful and here's all the people laid out oh my word it is so much stuff in this pack it really is and i was like complaining before about do you get how much props do you get well you even get the the packaging for your fast food as well so it's huge so do i recommend getting this 1950s new york mega pack from liati studios on the unreal marketplace that's normally around 220 odd quid and currently on sale for 67 under 70 percent off would I recommend it? You know what? That price, 67 quid for these cars and the people alone, you could argue it's a good price. For the whole pack, it's a steal. It really is. Okay, some of the building textures you need to tweak here and there. Low down your normals, fine. But, come on. Look at this, look at this car, look at this tram here. Look at it. Look. Look. It is beautiful. The the Third Avenue railway system. I love this. I really do. I'm going to get some 1930s vehicles and make this into the 1930s. I have to say. Because it could be any era. It is done so well. Very impressed with the RT Studios. Congratulations. A job well done indeed. 
This is one of my first real reviews mucking about inside Unreal. I haven't got a clue how to use Unreal yet. It keeps on crashing for me whenever I try to do something different. I don't know how to get the best out of it. But even now, with no knowledge whatsoever, I just click play and it just looks sexy. Oh my word. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to click like, uh, subscribe, write down comments. You know, all the things that you should be doing. Tell random people on the street as well. Go up to them and say, hey, do you like the 1950s? Do you like the 1930s? Do you like the noughties? Well, let's be naughty together inside NYC Mega Pack from Learty Studios on the Unreal Marketplace. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell. That if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.